I, 18F, just found out my little sister, 14F, is pregnant. A few hours ago my little sister told me and our other sister that she's pregnant. We sat in silence for a while because no one really knew what to say, but when we did talk about it I was a little disappointed in her, I feel like I failed as a big sister. What's most fucked up about this situation? She doesn't know who the father is, there are two possible fathers. But what I really need advice on, she's not planning on telling our parents. I don't know how that's going to work but she isn't telling them. No that's not the smart decision. I know she'll hate me but, should I tell our parents about this? Or should I mind my business and see how this all plays out? Take your sister to a clinic that provides confidential services like Planned Parenthood. I disagree with you telling your parents for her right away. You're 18 and she came to you because she obviously needs help and is most likely clueless on what to do. Take her to a clinic, let them talk to her about her options and have them provide her with materials slash resources about pregnancy, adoption, and abortion. Be there for her and support whatever she decides because it's still her body regardless of her age. Help her find out who the father is and like other comments said, find out if they are 18 plus. If she wants to keep the baby, encourage her to tell your parents when she feels ready. Your role in this is to be her support system and not throw her under the bus by telling your parents prematurely. Give her a chance to tell them about it first. Edit, thank you for the awards. I really hope your sister is able to get an abortion. 14 is just too young to deal with the physical and mental toll of pregnancy and birth. I also really hope that you can get your sister some sex education as to be pregnant without a clear idea of the father at 14 suggests that she is engaging in some risky sexual practice without the proper knowledge and tools. Don't tell them without telling her you're going to. It's unfair to be ambushed. Also, do you know what her intent is? I know of a person deeply traumatized by their parent making their decisions for them. I'm not sure, she didn't say if she was keeping it or not. Your sister needs medical care, ASAP. You need to get her to a real doctor who will inform her about her choices. You should not spend any more time moralizing this. As someone who actually did get pregnant at 14, yes, medical care is a must despite how she chooses to go about this. You need to take her to the nearest Planned Parenthood or similar clinic as soon as possible. There are places called crisis pregnancy centers. Stay as far away from them as you can, they're known to dispense false medical information and use over-the-top guilt and coercion tactics to try to convince you to keep the baby. The last thing your sister needs is that experience. If she wants to keep it, fine. But she needs real medical information and a clear idea of her options and all possible consequences. My, 34F, son, 16 meters, suddenly wants to move in with his father, 34 meters. How it ended, my son has been seeing the boy next door romantically, turns out the move had nothing to do with me or the father. After speaking with the father and my son, I've decided to check myself into a mental health facility, I don't think I'm coping very well with much and I need help. My ex will also be looking after my youngest son while I'm away. My son and I have always been close, so has my son and his father, however lately he's been a little more withdrawn. Every time he comes back from his father's house he complains that he didn't want to come home and he wishes he could just stay there. He doesn't join in much on family time anymore and any time I try to have a serious conversation about what's going on with him he just repeats that he wants to go live with his dad full time. I have no idea what could have brought this on, we haven't done anything differently. I asked him if it was my new boyfriend if he was mistreating him and he said no. I just don't understand why he'd want to leave and not tell us why. It's making me wonder what his father is up to and what he's telling our son, although it's hard to believe he'd say anything bad about us considering we split on good terms. What do I do? I don't want to lose my boy. Update, as suggested by many, I decided to cut off my relationship this morning in hopes the house won't be uncomfortable anymore. This led to an extremely heated conversation with my son where he's decided it's appropriate to call 
call me an idiot for ruining things with this guy. Needless to say, he still wants to move in with his dad. I'm dropping him off there today. Updated update, my son has taken it upon himself to contact my ex and tell him I needed to talk. He'll be in trouble for this later. He arrived safely at his father's and will remain there. I think he's going to be just fine. Oh my lanta. I have read a ton of your comments. Just let the kid live with his dad. You continuously mention in your comments that you'll break up with your BF to make your son happy but you never even think about the possibility of letting him stay with his dad. Let him stay with his dad, he's a teenager, he's growing up, he wants to see his father more, if you don't let him you'll just see more and more retaliation and you'll both grow to resent each other. Your son wants to be with his dad. He is 16. Time for him to fly. You let him go. Mom to mom here. If you don't want to lose him, let him go live with his father. However it turns out let him go and let him know he can change at any time and no questions, then just leave it alone but to help him make his decisions come true. He loves you, he just needs to experience this. Like I said it can be great all the way to bad but he needs it anyway and you letting him do this without any guilt makes it so you can help him, if he needs it, if this goes not how he thinks. Just love him and let him go. Make sure your family time is important again to him because it'll be less but that's okay, just make it a good experience for all. My middle one did this and then my youngest. It worked out very well to let them go and then they, in my case, got to see and came back on their own. I had no desire, my case I know yours is different, to slam their dad but they aren't dumb and they had to see some things without me in the middle, buffering them from the things their dad did. Yours sounds like a good thing but either way, no guilt so you can be there if they need you and so they can get what they want with this move. Best of luck. Edit, added, for clarity in that sentence. My, 16F, mother's husband thinks he's my father. I already have a dad, so I don't know why my mother's husband thinks he's my father. This man literally barges into my room and tells my boyfriend to leave. When I tell him my mom said he can stay, he says I don't care what your mother said, he's not allowed in my house. For one it's not his house, it's my mother's and he's only been living with us for a few months. He tells me what to wear, I wear something in a pruite he sends me upstairs to change. He tries to make me stay in or come home at a certain time when my mother said I can stay out until 12am, and he constantly takes my phone and looks through it. I told this man many times you're not my father so stop pretending to be and he still does it. What is the point of all of this? Should I tell my mother about this? Edit, my dad is in the military, I haven't seen him in over 8 months. So living with him isn't really an option. I would also like to state that my stepdad doesn't contribute financially whatsoever. He claims he's a writer I haven't seen him write anything. He sits at home all day bothering me. My mother works she makes the money, not him. Don't give him your phone. I'm not gonna say let him hit you before you give him the phone, that's not good advice. I'd probably do it, though. He has no right and needs to learn his goddamn place. Same. And stop listening to him at all. Don't change your clothes, don't send your boyfriend home, don't give him your phone. Every time he tries to tell you to do something walk out of the room and call your mother and tell her what he is doing. You should have told her about it a long time ago. He's clearing trying to exercise some kind of authority, and it's a talk she needs to have with him. Sounds like he has some issues. Yes, you should absolutely tell your mother about this. He may have it in his mind that he has your best interest in mind but his behavior sounds intrusive, not to mention he is undermining your mother if she says one thing and he contradicts it. Tell your mother what is happening. From personal experience, it isn't safe for a man you barely know to have access to your room and phone. Tell your dad too. You need to tell your mother like yesterday, and get a lock on your bedroom door. He should not be able to barge into your room. Your privacy and comfort in your own home is first and foremost. Not just on the door, but a lock code on the phone too.